Alrighty, so, um, I just watched Space Jam for the first time since I was a kid. Um, and, you know, it, it's it's alright. I can see why so many people like it. It's it's cute. It's fun. Um, the film, the, the basic premise of the film is as follows, and we'll try to make this as quick as possible. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. <clears throat> Michael Jordan is a basketball player, but now he's a baseball player. He retired from basketball. And then there's the Looney Tunes. Uh, one day, the Looney Tunes are approached by a bunch of aliens who want to take them back to their amusement park in space. And they're like, no, we're not going to go with you. And the aliens are like, oh, yeah, if you don't, we're going to kill you. And they're like, no, we got to defend ourselves. We challenge you to basketball. And the aliens are like, all right, bet. So they go and they steal some talent from a bunch of basketball players. And then they turn into basketball players on steroids. And the Looney Tunes are like, oh, no, what are we going to do? And then they go to Michael Jordan and they're like, hey, we need some help. You're a basketball player, right? And Michael Jordan's like, no, I'm not a basketball player. I'm a baseball baseball player and they're like yeah 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 come on and so Michael Jordan's like all right fine so then they go and they start playing basketball um, but then Michael Jordan is like wait I'm still dressed up in a suit and tie I can't play basketball you need to go to my house and, and get my basketball uniform so they sneak into his house uh, you know a little breaking and entering and they get his basketball uniform and so now they're playing basketball um, and then it's the night of the big game and they start playing against the do the tune squad the doom squad no the Monstars, that's through there. The Doom Squad is in the second one. We'll talk about the second one later, but we can't do that right now because the embargo is still on the film. <gasps> and it's, uh, it's going to be on the film for quite a while. So anyways, uh, they play the Monstars, and Danny DeVito Monstar is there, and he's like, yeah, if, uh, if, if we win the game, you know, we get to keep the Looney Tunes, and then we get to keep Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan's like, all right, you're on. So they play the game, and then... Uh, they're losing, but then they get help from this guy and from Bill Murray um, And then there's this really funny line where uh, Danny DeVito monster says I didn't know Dan Aykroyd was in this picture get it because because he was in uh, Ghostbusters with uh, with frickin uh, What was his name Bill Murray? Yeah, so anyways, uh, they they win the game and the Monstars lose, and then they beat up Danny DeVito Monstar, and then Michael Jordan goes back, and he plays some baseball. And then he uh, returns the, the talent, the powers, to the basketball players. And uh, that's pretty much the film. You know, it, it's relatively short and simple. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the second one because uh, I love 2D animation. I'm a huge fan of films like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you know, Lion King, and of course Space Jam. What I love about Who Framed Roger Rabbit is that, like, it was revolutionary for its time because you had this big, large-scale detective noir adventure where real-world people were interacting with cartoons. And um, because Warner Brothers and Disney teamed up for that film to do the animation, um, the same, uh, like the, the Warner Brothers team, right, they sort of were able to apply that to Space Jam. So yeah, the film's pretty good. It, it, I, I don't think it's as good as Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I am looking forward to the sequel though, because this is going to be the first 2D animated film that we've had in a while, or like the first film with 2D animation uh, since, I, I, I want to say My Little Pony in 2017. Of course, there was like a short scene in Mary Poppins Returns where there is some 2D animation, uh, but I feel like this is going to be like Spongebob Sponge Out of Water where it's like the first half of the film is all 2D animation, and then the second half of the film, the characters are in the real world doing the basketball game. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to give my review on, on uh, Space Jam 2 once the embargo lifts. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's about it for this review. Oh, overall, the film is pretty good, uh, but not as good as Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but still pretty good. It's a lot of fun. Oh, and then there's Lola Bunny. I don't really get why people are so upset about Lola Bunny. I mean, yeah, she's a cute character, but guys, come on. You're, you're obsessing over the sexualization of a rabbit. What are you, some kind of furry? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't really see uh, why people are so upset about this because honestly, I, I think it's a good thing that they changed Lola Bunny's character design. And then, hear me out. It's a good thing they changed Lola Bunny's character design uh, because one, she is not overly sexualized like she was in, in the first film. It looks like they're actually going to give her some character development here, which is great. Literally, Lola Bunny's only character traits or only things that she does in the first movie is she shows up wearing a crop top and everyone's like Aooga! and then Bugs is like hey doll wanna play a basketball game and Bola, Bola, Bola Lola <laughs> Lola beats him and then she's like don't call me doll doll face capiche and then later she says the same thing again 
uh, to the Monstars, and then she kisses Bugs Bunny, and that's it. You know, I I think it's good that they're they're changing her character design because one, kids don't need to be seeing over sexualized characters on uh, uh in in the media they consume. So I think it's good that they've sort of like taken steps to um uh make Lola Bunny moderately dressed and and, and not over sexualized because guys come on it, it, it's a cartoon bunny if you're sexualizing a cartoon bunny and then the second film you know they announce hey you know we're not going to do that and then you get all upset that they're not sexualizing the cartoon bunny i i think you're the one with the problem it, it's a cartoon bunny nobody nobody should should really be this upset over over a bunny Anyways, yeah, those those are my two cents on the film. So I'm gonna go see the second one, and you know it's gonna be all right. I think I know this this next one stars uh, LeBron James, and if, if we're being honest here, I, I think if Kobe Bryant was still alive, he would have been the perfect fit for this film. You know, he he was a really great Family Guy and Family Guy. He was a really great family man, um, and it's not fair that he and his daughter were taken uh, so soon. And I think like if they were still alive. His kids would have been so, so excited to see him in this in in this film. Not that it's a bad thing that that LeBron is in the film because you know I think his kids will get a kick out of seeing him in in a Looney Tunes movie as well. I I, I think Kobe would have done great in it, but that's not to say LeBron won't do great. I, I'm looking forward to seeing how he he act, acts because this is the first film that I I've seen. Uh, starring LeBron James. So that'll be interesting. Anyways, those are my thoughts on this film. And uh, that's the video. Here's the end cards. Stop sexualizing bunnies.